Okay, student. In the last video, we have some uh, see some of the uh, specific incident ray about the spherical mirror. Okay, which one are they? First of all, when the incident ray, which is parallel to the principal axis, when the incident or uh, one ray which is parallel to the principal axis during the time after reflection, it just passes from the principal focus. For a concave mirror, because in a concave mirror, generally this principal focus is in the side of a reflecting surface of that mirror. So you can say that when the ray which is parallel to the principal axis, it just passes after reflection from the principal focus. It is the first ray, first specific incident ray for a spherical mirror. But for the convex mirror, when it is parallel to the principal axis, it does not passes from the principal focus because the principal focus is in the another side of the reflecting surface of a convex mirror. So we can say that it just seems to be diverged from the principal focus. But the main point is that principal focus. When the ray is parallel to the principal axis, you have to remember the principal focus. For concave mirror, it is passes from it. Or for a convex mirror, it seems to be diverged from principal focus. Here it is the first specific incident ray. Now the second one is that when this incident ray is passing from principal focus, at here the reflecting ray is passing from principal focus. Why? If we take an incident ray which is passing from principal focus for concave mirror, but for a convex mirror, we have to take the ray which is going towards the principal focus. Then what will happen with the reflecting ray? This reflecting ray remain parallel to the principal axis. You can say that both these are inverted, right? They are inversion because when parallel to principal axis passes from principal focus, when passes from principal focus remain parallel to principal axis. So you can say that both are inversion of each other, which is the last time which we have seen. It, okay, now today we are going to see about the another two when the incident ray is passing from center of curvature. What happens when the ray is incident which is passing from the center of curvature? For that we have to draw a mirror. At here, which type of mirror is that? As you know that its reflecting surface is innerly curved. So you can say that it is a concave mirror. Here it is a concave mirror. Okay. In a concave mirror, the pole can be easily established that here in the center of that mirror. Okay. Now, where the center of curvature? When you draw this mirror during that time, you have to use a rounder. And for that, you have to put the point of rounder at here and then you can draw like that. So the point of the rounder should be taken as center of curvature which is exactly a 6 cm as we uh, say in a previous some of the videos, right? So we can say that here it is the center of curvature, here it is the pole. Now you have to take exactly the center of the C and P as the principal focus which is denoted by F. So here it is the F. If we take a C to P as a 6 cm, then the F should be between it. So you can say that the distance between F and P should be a 3 cm. Not only that, the C and F is also a 3 cm. So here it is the C, here it is the F and here it is the P. Now you have to take the incident ray which is passes from center of curvature. Okay. So here it is the ray. Which should be passes from the center of curvature. So here is the ray. This ray is just passes from the center of curvature, which is the incident ray. Which is the incident ray. What happened with it after striking on the this reflecting surface of mirror? It just goes back on the same path. It does not reflect in any other direction. It just goes back on the same path. So here it is the reflecting ray. So the incident ray and the reflecting ray both are same but opposite in direction. This incident ray is passing from the center of curvature. After reflection, it just goes back on the same path. 
it does not reflect in any other direction at here it just going back on the same path what is the reason behind it as you know that when we take a circle and here it is the center always all the lines which are passing from the center to the any point of the uh, circle makes a normal to them makes the normal to them so you can say that when this ray is passing from center of curvature it is exactly on the normal of a and when it is on the normal it does not reflect in any other direction it just goes back on the same path so it uh, follow the law of reflection the incident ray has make an angle a zero degree just because of that is reflecting angle also a zero understand so at here the incident ray and the reflecting ray are just a same it follows the same path the same thing is occurs with the convex mirror here it is the convex mirror because its outermost surface a reflecting surface right so here it is a convex mirror as you know that for drawing it you have to put the center is at here and then you have to draw this like like that okay so here it is the center of curvature not only that the f will be at here exactly on the center of it as you know that the ray cannot be go in uh, almost the this mirror it can't go right at here so you have to take a ray which is just going towards this way. does not meet or passing from the see as you know that it is in the another side at here there is so many faults you can't go there right so you have to just uh, draw a ray which is just going towards the center of curvature so here it is the incident ray incident ray according to the law of reflection it just comes back on the same path so here it is the reflecting ray it is most important ray for us what is the reason behind it as you know that for forming an image we need at least a two rays right from which we have to use this one because it is more, more, much easier for us we does not need to draw a two rays we have to just draw a one ray and you know that we are so lazy and just because of that we are using this ray we are saying this as a lazy ray, just for us okay not for the world or something like we are just taking us as a lazy ray because we have to draw only a one ray does not need to draw another ray right okay now. so here is the third one when the incident ray is passing from center of curvature then ray returns back on the same path understand now the fourth one when a ray incident on a pole by making some specific angle with principal axis at here a pole which mirror is there right it's a concave mirror right okay uh, here it is the pole so you can say that exactly center is a center of curvature at where you have to put the uh, point of a round right and center of it as a taken as principal focus now the ray which is incident on the pole by making some specific angle so you have to take a one ray which is incident on a pole at here it just make some of the angle with this principal focus it just make a one angle at a principal focus here it is a incident ray if we take this angle as a theta as you know that according to the law of reflection it just reflect at the same angle right so the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection both are equal so here it is the reflected here it is a reflected Ray, right so here it is a when the ray is incident at some specific angle towards the pole during that time is just reflect back at the same angle the same thing is occurs with this convex mirror here it is a convex mirror where you should put the c exactly on the center at where you have put a round right the center of that rounder the exactly center should be taken as f now you have to incident a ray 
which makes some specific angle. Here it is a incident. If the angle is theta, then it just reflects back at the same angle. So this angle is also theta. So here it is a reflected so the result is that the reflects back at the same angle. Understand? At here, if the ray is incident on a pole with some specific angle, then it reflects back at the same angle, right? According to the law of reflection. So here it is the four specific incident ray which are used by us for forming an image. I will just repeat all of the four. First of all, at here you can say that when the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis then it just reflects back by passing from the principal focus means from the f then the, when it is passing from principal focus then it remains parallel to the principal axis you have to remember all of these when parallel to principal axis passing from focus when passing from focus parallel to the principal axis when passing from center of curvature it turns back on the same path a lazy ray then when it is incident on a pole by some making specific angle then it turns back at the same angle you have to remember all of these ray a specific incident ray without it we can't make any image so for forming an image you need to know all of these specific incident ray after incident when it goes after reflection you have to remember all of this so you have to remember four of the specific incident ray and when it will reflect after incident on a reflecting surface of a mirror.